Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's show of program reviews. Today we're going to continue the C sharp review series of tutorials, and what we're going to look at is very simple. We're going to see how to load images and text right here from our machine tech note local disk D images are in a folder that I'm calling small. So right here we shall be loading our images from this particular folder right here and then of course showing them in our list view. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I click my fill button over right here. Okay. Now I go ahead and then click my fill button right here. You can see our images get loaded. If you click a single image it shows us uh, the item that's been clicked. This is it guys. This is what we're going to look at. How to work with the images and text. Okay. How to load them from our machine. Of course to a simple list view right here. Okay. This is it. It's a simple tutorial where we're going to see how to work with an image list and of course with our list view. So guys, welcome. We get started. Now the first thing that I requires to do of course is to go ahead and then create our project. So to create a project file new then choose C sharp of course win form application. Then of course once we've done that one we have to design your form come right here to a form one. Just come over right here to a toolbox then of course a list view search over right there list view drag your list view and bring it onto your form search a button over here also a uh, drag a button and then uh, bring it to your form okay so once we've done that one of course double click your button uh, to generate for us the on click uh, event rate as well as our clear button then of course write our list view now right click your list view come over to properties inside your properties let's go to the events section now what we're going to do right here we shall be uh, looking for the most click events okay right here most click double click this one now if we double click all those ones they're going to be generating for us a couple of events over right here if we start if you click to a form of course it's going to generate for us the form load event this is the event that gets called when our form is loaded so what we shall be doing right here okay yeah we, this this is where we shall be setting uh properties our list view properties so come we shall come right here and set our list view properties and then of course uh, to do this one right here we're simply going to uh okay we'll come to it later on then of course let's do most click right here what we shall do over here is simple this is where we shall be showing a message box when clicked okay containing the item that's been clicked fill button when this is clicked right here we shall be of course filling our list full with our data clear button we shall be clearing our list full. this is it guys let's proceed on so for us the first thing let's come over to our form load event and then we're setting our list view properties right here. Which view type are we going to use? Well, we're going to be using the details uh, view type over here. So we come over here. Then, of course, we come construct our columns. So we're going to have this one column that's going to represent our spacecraft. Of course, with this image, we're giving it a width right here of 150. Okay. Then, of course, first right here, auto resize mode. Yes, we shall set our column to be auto resized according to the header size that we've specified right here as 150 so we only have one column here we pass its index then we come we pass our auto resize style over right here so guys this is these are going to be our list view properties now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to get a simple method that's going to help us populate so let's come over right here we're going to say populate list view and then of course we come this is populate of course to populate our list view we're going to have a simple method here private this method of course is not returning for us anything i'm just going to call it populate it's a method that shall be calling inside our field over right here so this is where we shall be calling our populate method what we're going to do right here is very simple first we're going to have a right here create an image list okay we're going to instantiate an image list object and then right here we set its size now our images are going to be 100 by 100 okay then of course once we've done that one we come create an array that's going to hold the parts of the image for us so we come right here we get at uh, these particular parts we shall be storing them now to, for us to get them we shall be using the directory a class right here dot get files so we call the get files method then of course we simply pass the path this get files method is going to be a loop through our data and of course uh, get all the files all the paths i mean 
profiles and then sort them inside this particular path array so then we come over here we look through each path we make sure that we add them to our image list okay we are using the image from file method right here we pass the path this is going to give us uh, that particular image we add it to our images uh, to our image list object over right here if we are going to have an error right here we're just going to catch uh, that particular exception now once we've done uh, that one let's come over right here okay then bind our images of course to our list view now take note list view we're using the small image uh, list right here then of course we assign it to our images which is our image list then of course we add our data take note we're adding the text property and then we're adding the index of the image okay so text and then of course our image we make sure that we add all of them over here to our of course our list view uh, our list view items collection our list view items collection so that's it we we'll do that one then of course let's come over right here to our mouse click event now when a particular item has been clicked so for us actually what we're going to do is very simple if a particular item has been clicked we're simply going to be showing right here a simple message box okay so first of course we get the item that's been clicked to get its text property then of course we show it otherwise we call our populate method then of course right here for clearing we're going to say list view one dot items to get all the items then of course clear and that's it guys if we run our project you have to make sure that of course you have uh, the right path then we come right here fill and then you can see right here we are able to fill our data of course with their images okay so guys that's it that's so this is just a tutorial to introduce us to image list and of course how to work with the list view i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have hit the like button share it with friends and take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial